I once heard you mention the internal 9-11 that may happen, right? Mm -hmm. But before we even get there, I've been talking to numerous restaurant owners, and I mm -hmm. even spoke to a farmer down here in South Jersey, mm -hmm. and they were telling me that if, if, if the plan is executed to remove uh, immigrants, mm -hmm. as they said, they're not sure how they will be in business. As I said, this is a small demographic. These are people I have spoken to. Certainly. Do you feel that restaurants and farms in America can continue if uh, many people are deported? Of course it can. Because we were doing fine before the 10 million people came over here in the past three and a half years. So what are we talking about? Um, where was all this smoke for getting rid of illegal immigrants when the person who was once called deporter in chief sent two million packing and didn't do it cleanly, didn't do it systemically. Oh, because he was black and that was okay. I'm gonna need black people to hold their own nuts. I, I just am. I, my grandfather was, a, was the son of a sharecropper and the grandson of a slave who were all peanut farmers. Yeah. My paternal grandmother grew up on a dairy farm in South Carolina. So, I'm trying to understand how all of a sudden we act like black people, black farmers, don't have the skills when there have been plenty of black farmers who have been crying out for subsidies since before Martin Luther King got killed. Yeah. But what we want to do is shame millionaires and billionaires who are using illegal immigrants for whatever their particular devices and vices are. But now it's an issue because, oh, well, what about the restaurants? What about the Venezuelans that shut down Chicago the other day? No. What about the uh, illegal Colombians who are coming over here and, and beating folks up in the head? What about the, the, the illegal immigrants in New York City that are terrorizing people in Central Park after dark? We, we got no conversation for that and we're worried about all that? No. Are, are, are you serious? No. And then, by the way, um, how is it in this country... We have people who were born here, don't have another country to go to because this is the only home they've ever known, who have been in this country since before Columbus, who now have to let other people come here illegally because they didn't want to follow the rules. They didn't want to go through the asylum process. They didn't want to go through the seven to 10 years it takes to become a citizen. And they get, uh, they get food, they get education, they get shelter, and they get job training while people who look like you and I, who built this country, who built this country, can't get none of that because we, we don't qualify. We make too much money, this, that, and the third. Make it make sense. I'm going to need black people to hold their own nuts. This ain't your fight. It ain't. They're not here legally. Ain't you? you you're the first ones hollering out how oppressed you are. Ain't you oppressed enough? Is this not oppressing you financially? Is this not oppressing you educationally? How are you worried about what restaurants will function when you're not even worried about how you're going to function while your resources are limited? If in fact, how many children do you have? You have one. Where do you have two? If you have two. But I will tell you, I, I, I went from having one to two and I can tell you there's a difference. So imagine having two million illegal immigrants in this country versus having an additional 10 that we can account for. That's not the number that's the actual number. That's the number we can account for. Facts. So you're trying to tell me that it doesn't have an effect on the economy? Surely you just. But again, with the education system being what it is, I can see how you might not understand that. So yeah, no, um, restaurants will be just fine. They were fine three and a half years ago with just 2 million illegals. They were fine when Trump was building the wall and closing the border. They'll be fine when they get the heck up on out of here. Like, I don't understand why. Why would, Historically, black people got into feminism. How'd that work out for us? Not good. How, how, how did, how did, how did, by and large, because there'll be some, oh, civil, rights thing, but. civil rights benefited fat white women who wanted to work at Pan Am. Yeah. Civil rights benefits people who have a different sexual orientation. We're always the last on the totem pole, but we're always the first to get our heads beat in for the cause. Why are we always putting ourselves in the line of fire for other people? Like, we wanted to fight in World War II, and they wanted to put us on the front lines. They wanted us to fight in the Civil War, and they put us on the front lines. We're constantly on the front lines, but on the back end, we're getting... I, I need somebody to explain to me why everybody else's needs and wants and rights are more important to our people by and large than our own rights are to us. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I, don't, I got nothing.